The Prime Minister, Edward Philippe, announced the complete abolition of the fuel tax hikes at the end of an address to MPs in the National Assembly. He was speaking against a no-confidence vote from the opposition. His party's majority meant it was never going to succeed, but he realized the real no-confidence vote was being lost in the streets. To the yellow vests, to all French people, to you, members of parliament, I say that the government is open to dialogue with the support of the majority. Students have now joined the growing fray of protest against President Macron and their demonstrations are spreading right across France. Bin set on fire blocking a road in Marseille. The same tactics in Toulouse, a high school set on fire. In a suburb of Paris, another school shrouded by tear gas and smoke. In the city's Pantheon Sorbonne, professors were blocked from entering the campus as hundreds of undergraduates voted to join the Yellow Vest Revolt with a march this weekend. There is a rising of the people's rage and it's caused by a single reason, the government policies that only look to take from the poor to give to the rich. The anger doesn't stop at the gate of the university. We're facing a problem that touches everybody in society. The Yellow Vests are supporting us and we're supporting them. These spontaneous demonstrations by groups of students are now breaking out in Paris. They're moving through the streets, it's unauthorized. They're waving at uh, the workers as they go by. They're getting support from passing vans and, uh, and even ambulances. So this is now what uh, President Macron is facing. The protest is spreading way beyond the concessions he's already given and the pressure on him and, and his administration is only growing. <laughs> President Macron, though, got a very different kind of reception on a visit to the Haute Loire. <laughs> People gathered by the side of the road to swear at his presidential convoy and shout, resign. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Paris.